Hey guys, welcome to the Editing Bard, the channel that brings you writing tips that make sense. Today we are going to be talking about what to get the special loved ones in your life who are writers and who may be a little bit more complicated to buy for. Guys, thanks so much for joining me today. If you guys haven't already, uh, this channel is all about bringing you writing tips that make sense and having fun while we do it. So if that's your jam, make sure that you go down, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so that way you know when I upload my new videos, which is every Friday. Now then, getting to the whole point of this video and wearing this fabulous looking Santa hat, we're going to talk about what to get the writers in your life for Christmas. I'm going to give you five ideas to make it easier on you. I'm only going to give you five things what you can get for the loved ones in your life. Numero uno, journals. Yes, that is right. Leather bound journals, baby. This is where it's at. You just, ah, yeah, I love the smell of leather in the afternoon but seriously though uh getting a journal is a great way to help encourage somebody to write whether that is for journaling purposes which that one was or getting something that is a little bit bigger in size such as this one now this one is a little bit bigger i have not written in it the pages are different um so make sure that when you are purchasing a journal, you know what the journal looks like on the inside. Now, the first one I mentioned, it has lines in it. So the other one does not. The other one is just free reign. You just do whatever you want. You just write however you want. Some people don't like that. So just be aware of that. If you don't know, go with ones that have lines in them. Numero dos, pens. Everyone, every writer loves a nice pen. I have many. Now, this isn't all that I have. I have a mason jar full of pens. I also have a fountain pen. Um, and yes, they, these are absolutely fabulous. Um, now, you can get some that are, you know, like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and that's all great and fine and dandy. The problem is, is that if you're going to get your loved one a really nice writing pen, get them something that is going to be easily refillable. I have run into this far too often uh, where I have my favorite pens and they are out of ink. And because of that, and because I don't know what brand, because, well, it doesn't really say anything on here. And this one just has a quote from Hemingway. Uh, I don't know where to get refills for it. And it's not like it would be super complicated for me to figure something out. But honestly, like, do you, do you know what this is? Do you recognize this? I don't recognize this. So as such, I will enjoy a wonderful pen that uh, now has uh, the ability to just take up space on my desk. That's essentially what, this, what will happen with this pen as soon as it runs out of ink. So make sure that you get something that has easily refillable cartridges. Numero Trace, awesome writer t-shirts. That's right. Writers are suckers for these things. And Amazon has a billion of them. Uh, not only does Amazon have them, but I mean, seriously, like if you just Google writing t-shirts or funny writing shirts, you're going to find a ton of shirts uh, that really, I mean, they're absolutely fantastic. I have like 18 on my saved list that I can't afford right now. And I plan on buying at some point. <laughs> so, um, if you want to bring a smile to your loved one's face, writing shirts are the absolute way to go. I can't begin to tell you how many compliments I've gotten on this shirt. Uh, more than that, people have stopped and it'd be like, what does your shirt say? And then that opens up a conversation uh, for that. So, Unless they're like completely antisocial, uh, this is going to be a great way to go. Numero quattro. Get them a subscription to a, some sort of writing app or service. 
Uh, case in point, something like Grammarly or Pro Writing Aid. That is such a awesome idea to get someone for Christmas is one of those. Um, now, obviously Grammarly has a free version, so don't really need to do uh, a whole lot there unless you want to buy them the premium version, which it has its merits. Um, Pro Writing Aid, if you're gonna buy anything really, now would be the time, uh, I think it was, I saw like, it was like 20% off or something. So, I mean, can't go wrong with discounts, um, especially on the lifetime license for that thing. Uh, it's pretty awesome. If you want to know more about that, I'm actually gonna, I'll post a card up above uh, to the video where I did the review of Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid, which has surpassed a thousand views at this point. Uh, so thank you guys so much, uh, it means a lot. Numero Cinco, writing mugs. Every author either lives on coffee or tea. Those are pretty much the only two drinks we have. We don't really do water. It, it, the, the water that we drink comes in two forms, coffee or tea. And we always need more, lots more, lots and lots and lots more. You can never have too many mugs for the two types of water that we drink. So go and get them a writing mug. It could be a funny writing mug, could be a very serious writing mug, could be a mug that just has an inspirational saying on it that is somewhat writing related. Doesn't really matter. Mugs are the way to go. And if all else fails, just get them gift cards. Because honestly, if you have no idea what it is that they're going to want and none of the ideas sounded good to you, just get them a gift card. Well, I don't think you can really do that with the, with the subscription packages. But for pretty much everything else, you can. And so you can go on Amazon. You can go to Barnes & Nobles. I mean, seriously, guys, the options are pretty much endless. And yeah, I mean, it's really that easy. Just go get them a gift card. Uh, then they can buy whatever the heck that they want and whatever feels right for them. Can't go wrong. You feel good about yourself. They, they love you because you helped ultimately provide the way for whatever it was that they wanted to get. It's kind of a win-win. So guys, to make it easier on you, I've actually gone through and I've curated some things that are A, on my Christmas list, B, things I think that your loved ones would absolutely love if they're writers like myself, and that should at least help jumpstart that process. So head down below and check it out. So there are your top five things to get for your loved ones this Christmas when it comes to the writers in your life. If you have any further questions or if you have any ideas that you want to suggest to other people, make sure that you comment down below. And plus, I would love to hear what it is that you are getting for those people because I might want to add that to my Christmas list because I've been, I've been mostly good. I mean... Yeah, I've been, I've been mostly good. I'll go with that. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Have a very, very Merry Christmas.